Thank you for watching using the ERDAS Imagine Contrast Tools from Hexagon Geospatial eTraining. In this module, we'll see how to access the image contrast tools, view breakpoints, and apply contrast adjustments to an image. We'll see several different contrast stretches applied to a single image. For more information on how each stretch is calculated, refer to the ERDAS Imagine online help. We'll begin with ERDAS Imagine open. To start, Load an image into the viewer. From the Quick Access menu, select the Open Layers icon. Select Subset.img and then open the Raster Options tab. Place a check mark next to No Stretch. The default stretch options are defined in the User Preferences in the Viewer category but can be overwritten here. Placing a check mark next to this option tells the software to remove the default contrast stretch and load the software using the file pixel values. Click OK to load the image into the viewer. Most imagery looks better when a contrast stretch is applied, including the image we've just loaded. You can easily see that using file pixel values to display the image causes it to look dark. Poor contrast in the image makes it difficult to distinguish features from one another. Let's apply a contrast stretch and see how it can affect the way the image displays in the viewer. Open the contrast tools to see a gallery of contrast adjustment options. Select the Multispectral tab and click Adjust Radiometry. Hover the mouse over a thumbnail in Standard Stretches to preview the effect on the image. Click on Standard Deviation Stretch to select it and apply it to the image. Click Undo from the Quick Access menu to return to the original display. Again, click Adjust Radiometry to open the menu. Select Breakpoints to open the Breakpoint Editor. The Breakpoint Editor allows you to customize the contrast stretch by manipulating where the contrast breakpoints are for each layer in the image. It can also be used to preview the changes to the histogram when using predefined stretch options. The window displays a histogram for each displayed image layer with its corresponding color gun. The top histogram shows values related to the red color gun, the middle for the green color gun, and the bottom for the blue color gun. The Breakpoint Editor shows both actual pixel values and the values after the contrast stretch has been applied. Since this image does not have a contrast stretch, these values are exactly the same. We'll see this change in a moment. From the Adjust Radiometry menu, select Standard Deviation Stretch from the thumbnails. Because the Breakpoint Editor is open, you can preview the changes to the histogram before they're applied to the image. Now we can see the underlying gray histogram, which shows the actual file pixel values, and the colored histogram, which displays the values after the contrast stretch, for each layer in the Breakpoint Editor. From the bottom left, click Apply All to apply the stretch to the image. Close the Breakpoint Editor. Select Adjust Radiometry, General Contrast. The General Contrast tool provides all of the predefined contrast stretches from the Method pull-down menu and displays a preview of the selected stretch on the image. Select Histogram Equalization. The number of bins is set to 256, but can be changed to your preference. The preview of this stretch is shown on the right side of the dialog box. It's important to take a minute to understand and set the Histogram Source and Apply To options. Histogram Source defines the pixels that are used when calculating the contrast stretch. This option can be set to Whole Image, AOI, or Viewer Extent. When using Whole Image, all pixels within the image are used. Viewer Extent only uses the pixels visible within the viewer. To select specific pixels, use the AOI tools to define and set the area of interest. This can be helpful when only a portion of the image needs to be modified, or there's a large variation of features within an image. The Apply To options tell the software where to apply the contrast stretch. Select from AOI, Image File, and Lookup Table. Using the AOI tools, the contrast stretch can be applied within a specific area or boundary within the image. Lookup Table saves the stretch with the image but does not change the file pixel values. This helps the image to have good contrast for viewing and display purposes but all calculations or processing will be done on the original file pixel values. In most cases, this is the recommended method. Setting this option to image file allows the software to overwrite the original file pixel values with the new stretched values, effectively burning the contrast stretch into the image. 
It's important to note that once applied, this cannot be undone. It's recommended that when using this option, you always make a backup copy of the original data before saving the new values. Next, select Percent Lookup Table, or LUT, and view the preview. Use the thumb wheel above the preview to resize the preview images and view them all at the same time. Add another preview by selecting Linear from the method list. Enter 2 for the slope value to modify the stretch. Click the Breakpoints button to open the Breakpoint Editor from this dialog. Click Apply in the Contrast Adjust dialog to apply the changes to the Breakpoint Editor. In the Contrast Adjust dialog, change the Shift value to 15 and click Apply to make the changes to the breakpoints. In the Breakpoint Editor, click Apply All to see the changes in the viewer. Close the Breakpoint Editor. In the Contrast Adjust dialog, change the slope back to 1 and the shift to 0. Click Apply to update the image in the viewer and close the dialog. Now we'll see how to apply contrast changes to only a small portion of the image by defining an AOI region. From the Home tab, Select Add Views, Create New 2D View. Right click in 2D View number 2 to open the Quick Access menu and select Open Raster Layer. Select tm underscore 00.img and open the Raster Options tab. Add a check mark to No Stretch and click OK to load the image. Click inside 2D View number 1 to make it the active layer. From the Extent group on the Home tab, click Fit to Frame to resize the image. From the tools on 2D View number 2, click the Spatial Link Unlink button to link the viewers together. A box appears in Viewer number 2, showing the extent of Viewer number 1 within this window. Use the Zoom tools to zoom in to the extent of the link box. From the Scale drop-down menu in the Extent group, select 1 to 50,000. We can now see clear cuts and fields in greater detail. View number 1 has now become the image with the greater extent and the link box is moved to this window. In view number 2, we can see that a single area has already had the contrast adjusted. We'll continue to make more adjustments. Activate the Drawing tab and from the Insert Geometry group, select the Rectangle tool. In viewer number 2, draw a rectangle on the image. From the Contents pane, select tm underscore 00.img to make it active. Return to the Multispectral tab and select Adjust Radiometry, General Contrast. If needed, set the Histogram Source and Apply To options to AOI. From Method, select Linear. Change the slope to 2 and the shift to 15 and click Apply. A warning appears indicating that the pixel values of this image will be altered with this application. Click OK. The contrast within our rectangle AOI has been modified. From the Contrast Adjust pane, change Method to Histogram Equalization. Now change the method to Percent LUT. Close the Contrast Adjust dialog. Notice how it's now easier to distinguish the clear-cut field from the surrounding forested area. You should now have a strong understanding of how to access the image contrast tools, view breakpoints, and apply contrast adjustments to an image. Thank you for watching this e-training module from Hexagon Geospatial. For more e-training, please visit hexagongeospatial.com/e-training.